welcome everybody to our Job Nimbus 101 workshop. Uh, for the past few weeks and for the few weeks to come, we are focusing on automations. We're talking about how automations work in Job Nimbus. We're creating automations that will help you run your business. And today we are focusing on using tasks in your Job Nimbus account, those tasks that you're already creating to trigger automations for you. I'm Dan. I'm Logan. We're happy to have you here this morning. One of the best parts about doing business is getting to meet with so many different people. And one of the most awesome things about people is once they make a commitment, they never ever forget it or fail to show up <laughs> or anything like that. Once they say, yes, I'll be at that appointment, it always happens. If that's not the world you're living in, then you probably would find some benefit in sending out emails to remind people, hey, you've got a meeting coming up soon. Uh, we'd like to see you there. Or maybe you'll get sick or there'll be some rain and you'll need to reschedule things. And then you'll have to send them a bunch of emails saying, hey, I'm sorry we had to reschedule you. Well, we've made it easy. Job Nimbus can do a bunch of these repetitive tasks for you using automations. Now today we're gonna to be using automations that deal with tasks. And when you're working with automations, the important thing is always specificity. You want it to only trigger exactly when you want to. And there's not a ton of different conditions you use with tasks. So an important one is task type. You can see some different task types we have built here. We're gonna add a new one today. So we're gonna call this first appointment because this is something that we wanna have the first time we go out to see someone, we'll trigger specific automations based on it being the first appointment. Now I'm not gonna give it a default name, which means the default name will just be the task type. And I want it on my calendar and I, uh, I don't wanna hide it from my task list either. So I'm not gonna click any of the rest of these. I'm just gonna save it. And every time you save something in Job Nimbus, it's a good idea to refresh the page before you try to use it for anything else. So we're gonna do that now. You might wonder where is my task type found? Well, whenever you're going to add a task, this top area is task type. And you'll see first appointment is now on that list. Something else that will come up today is who's your related contact. This is the person that you are doing the, uh, the appointment with. So uh, we might have Mickey Mouse or McRory. Yeah, we'll do McRory. That would be our related contact. That'll come up later. So with all that done, let's do a brief reminder on what automations are, and then we'll get into it. So today, we're going to be doing task-based automations. And an automation is a when, if, then statement. So when a task is created, or we're usually gonna use modified, then we can add a condition. That's the if, and we can choose based on completed priority, the task type, which is why we made one, who the sales rep is, or if you have multiple locations, what location they're at. It's not a ton of options, but it covers most scenarios. And your actions are the same as they have been the past few weeks. You can create a task, send an email, or change the status of a related record. With all of that out of the way, hopefully a little bit of a refresher on the basics, let's build our first automation for the day. Yep, so today we're gonna to be building some amazing automations that really help work for a, help your company move to the next level and help Job Nimbus work for you. We're going to be sending a lot of emails today with our tasks. So I wanna go over our templates. We're going, uh, the first template we're gonna be sending is this appointment change notification that I already created. Now I wanna point this out because I wanna point out the template fields we're using, which are found here where I highlighted. As you notice, these are task template fields. They're found here in the template field dropdown in the task section. Now I point this out because task template fields only work in automations. Let's say you create this template field and you try to send it from the contacts file. Now computers are kind of stupid. There are a lot of tasks in the contact file and if you try to send it from the contacts file, the email template won't know which task you're actually pointing at. So it can't grab the information, but if you're sending the email template out with an automation that is triggered by a specific task, the computer goes, oh, 
I know exactly which task we're talking about. And it is able to pull the information from that specific task that triggers that automation. So now that we've gone over the template, let's build our automation together. So let's add a rule. This is going to be an appointment change notification. It's going to be an event-based trigger type, and we're going to say when a task is modified. Now we've talked about how you can modify records previously, but with a task, we're usually modifying the task type, whether it's completed or not, the start date and time, or who it's assigned to. So that is quite a bit. We need to specify this a bit more with conditions. So when a task, task is modified, if it is not completed yet, and we're gonna uncheck this only if is completed as modified box, and let's add another one for our task type that we just created, first appointment. And we're gonna uncheck that box again. And if it has both of these conditions, we're gonna send an action. And we're gonna send an email as an action. Now the email we're sending is this appointment change notification. And we're going to send it to all the related contacts on the task and the sales rep. So what this is saying is when a task is modified, if it's not completed yet, and if the task type is first appointment, which means that if the start date and time has changed or the person assigned to it has changed, because let's face it, a lot of times when we create an, when we create an appointment, things happen and we need to update who is going to go out to the house or when we're going out to the house. So people need to be notified of that. So if the conditions, if the task is our first appointment and if it's not completed yet, and if any of those other things have changed, then let's send an email out notifying our contacts and our sales rep that that has changed for them. So that right there is a pretty good task. And I'm, I'm gonna save it because I think that's gonna really help out. Yeah, this sort of thing is very helpful in case of rain or sickness or a rain of sickness, anything, <laughs> anything that is uh, modifying your timeline for different things, you can just go to your calendar, drag and drop these tasks, and these emails will go out automatically. I think that saves you a lot of time, especially if you're working in the office. Now let's go ahead and add another rule here. The rule that we're going to work with is a time-based automation. We want to remind people, so we'll call this an appointment reminder. Thank you. All right. So like I said, this is going to be time-based. When a task is modified, we want this to run a certain amount of time before, not after, the start date and time. Now, generally, people will default to one day before. That makes I actually sense. think that's a little too long. So imagine just imagine you've got an appointment that you schedule for 1030 in the morning, which is a reasonable time to have an appointment. Mm -hmm. And you send out an automated reminder 24 hours before, one day before. It's going to happen at 1030 in the morning. Well, between that 1030 and the next 1030 in the morning, you have basically an entire work day. You've got to get dinner. you got kids or what have you. And the odds that you remember that are a lot lower than if we set it to something like 12 hours before. Yeah, that's I see that. Trigger, okay. Yeah, that's going to trigger like last thing at night, or they'll wake up to it in the morning. And uh, if you're looking at your phone first thing in the morning, which basically we all do, you're going to see that you're going to go, oh, yes, I have that going on today. And uh, that's more likely to get you the case. Now, you might want to worry, oh, I don't want to send it in the middle of the night. Most people throw their phones on mute or have a do not disturb mode that goes in the middle of the night. So I don't find it to be a big problem. I'm going to just set this to 12 hours before. That's my personal preference. Now I'm going to add a condition and we're actually going to use the same ones that we did on yours, Daniel. Uh, we're going to say completed is equal to false because if we've completed this already, why are we sending them a reminder? And we will use that task type that we built earlier because this is only going to go out on the first appointment. Maybe we'd be happy sending this out on appointment generally, but uh, for this particular exercise, we're just going to do first appointment. And here we're going to send an email again. 
and we'll use an appointment reminder template. Send this out to the sales rep to remind them, hey, I need to be at this place and to the related contacts. And there we have it. This appointment reminder will trigger 12 days before, or 12 days, goodness, 12 hours before and uh, give your customer a little heads up the morning of that, hey, I've got an appointment coming up today. I should probably make sure I'm there for that since humans are fallible. There, those automations, although they're very similar, they are very powerful and are really gonna help you out. 